Grade 3 math, word problems, measure mass. Mass is different than volume. It isn't measured the same as volume of fluid ounces. Mass is the amount of matter an object contains. It's how heavy it is. And volume is the amount of space an object takes. So if you have a gallon of milk, its mass would be 8.5 pounds, but its liquid volume would be 128 ounces. It would be 4 quarts. See? That's its liquid volume, how much liquid is inside of it. Mass is how heavy it would be when you go to pick it up, okay? A slice of bread is about one ounce. One pound equals 16 ounces. So 16 slices of bread would be about a pound, wouldn't it? If one slice was one ounce, then 16 slices would be about a pound, wouldn't it? One ton equals 2,000 pounds, so a ton is very heavy. In metric measures, one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. And a gram is very small. One ounce, one of these ounces, like that slice of bread, would be about 30 grams. be about 28 to 30 grams. And we can convert measures to solve problems. Just remember to read each problem carefully to answer what it's asking. That's the most important thing. Make sure you answer what it's asking, okay? If Emma needs 20 ounces of flour to bake a loaf of bread, how many pounds of flour will she need to bake four loaves of bread? Well, 20 ounces is one loaf, so we would need four of them, wouldn't we? And we would do 20 times four, 20 ounces times four loaves. Four times zero is zero, and four times two is eight. That would be 80 ounces for four loaves. Now we need to change the 80 ounces into pounds. So how many 16s will fit into 80? Because one pound is 16 ounces. We have to figure out how many 16s are in this 80. We can add them. 16 plus 16 is 32. That would be two pounds, right? Because each 16 is one pound, each 16 ounce. We take the 32 and add another 16 ounces. That's another pound, and we get 48 ounces. We take the 48 and add another 16. That's another pound, and we're at 64 ounces. And if we add another 16, we'll be at 80. So that's one, two, three, four, five sixteens. That means there's five pounds, because each 16 ounce is equal to one pound. There are five pounds and 80 ounces. We can do 16 ounces times five to see if it's 80. 5 times 6 is 30. We regroup the 3 and put the 0 down, and 5 times 1 is 5. 6, 7, 8. We have 80 ounces. So 5 pounds is 80 ounces. We could also do repeated addition and add another 16 underneath the sum. 16 plus 16 would be 2 pounds. We get 32. Add another 16 for 3 pounds, get 48. Add another 16 for 4 pounds, get 64. And add another one to get 80. So she'll need five pounds of flour to bake four loaves of bread. And it asked us, how many pounds of flour will she need to bake four loaves of bread? And we're answering exactly what it asked, five pounds to make four loaves of bread. Now, would we use grams or kilograms to find the mass of a leaf? Now, remember, grams are very small, and one kilogram is a thousand grams. And remember that an ounce is about 30 grams. That would be one slice of bread. So if we compare this, a leaf is very light, isn't it? They float off of a tree. So if you said grams, you're right, because it wouldn't be very heavy. What about a cow? Would it be smarter to measure it in grams or kilograms? Well, cows are pretty heavy, aren't they? So if you said kilograms, you're right. Would we use ounces or pounds to find the mass of a scissors? Well, scissors aren't very heavy, are they? So if you said ounces, you'd be right. They don't weigh very much. What about a television? Well, televisions can be heavy, can't they? So we would measure them probably in pounds. An elephant weighs seven tons. We can convert this to pounds. How many pounds are in seven tons? Well, we know one ton is 2,000 pounds, so seven tons would be the 2,000 times seven. We would do seven times zero is zero, seven times this zero is zero, seven times this zero is zero, and seven times two is 14. We could also add 2,000 seven times, couldn't we? So it's 14,000 pounds. 
we write it as LBS for pounds. Now, if there were two elephants, well, and they were both seven tons, we can convert that to pounds by doing 14,000 plus 14,000. We'd have two of them, wouldn't we? All right. If there's nine grams of chocolate in a cup of cocoa, how many grams are needed to make three cups? Well, it says one cup is nine grams. So three cups would be the nine grams times three, wouldn't it? We would do nine times three. That would be 27 grams for three cups of cocoa. 27 grams of chocolate for three cups of cocoa. If a baby weighed seven pounds, six ounces when it was born, then gained three pounds, 10 ounces, how much would the baby weigh? So what we do in this case is we stack them vertically on top of each other, seven pounds, six ounces, and three pounds, 10 ounces. We put the ounces together and we put the pounds together and we add the ounces, we get 16 ounces, then we add the pounds, we get 10 pounds. Now that we've added each of the measuring increments, now we regroup them. See, we don't have to regroup or carry over or anything. See? We do it at the end. So now, this 16 ounces is one pound. We can move that to the pound side. So it would be 11 pounds and no ounces. See? So when you're adding like this, just remember to regroup at the end. Okay? We'll get into subtracting in the future. Okay? Because you could borrow if you have to. You could regroup a pound to be 16 ounces and add it to this amount of ounces. All right? We'll get into that as you get a little bit older. All right? So those are some word problems for measuring mass. And I hope this was helpful. I hope I didn't make any mistakes this time because I've had to remake this a couple times. So I hope you have a great day. I'm proud of you. And I'll see you next video. Bye.